India's got too many lions. Once almost extinct species is now as common to see as JD Vance memes. Yeah, while African lions are ghosting us like bad Tinder dates, Asiatic lion is staging a surprise comeback. They're multiplying, roaming into cities, and casually causing chaos. But here's the weirder part. These lions used to live in Europe, like actual lions in Europe, not in zoos, in the wild. And yes, ancient Greece had lions. Hercules wasn't just being dramatic. But no, they didn't escape from the Colosseum or take a wrong turn at Istanbul. They were native from India all the way to the Balkans. But we wiped them out. And now ecosystems over there are like Marvel movie with no villain. Pretty but kind of empty. Without lions, deer go wild, forests suffer, biodiversity tanks. So here's the wild question. Should we bring them back? Is Europe ready to swipe right on lions again? But let's zoom out for a second. Picture Europe 20,000 years ago. You're not walking through talib fields or wine country. You're dodging rhinos in Germany, hippos in the Thames, and hyenas in Spain. Europe wasn't always the quiet, latte-sipping, hedgehog-hugging continent it is today. It was the OG Jurassic Park, but with mammals. And guess who was top cut? Enter the cave lion. This guy wasn't just a lion, he was a super lion. Bigger than modern African lions, chunkier, fluffier, possibly bearded. Think Viking lion with the winter tires. They show up in cave art everywhere. Chauvet, Altamira, even on mammoth bones like some prehistoric Pinterest board. They rule from the Atlantic coast to Siberia like a feline Mongol empire. And then, plot twist, they vanished. Thanks to, you guess it, climate change, overhunting, and possibly the first caveman version of gentrification. A tragic end to our snow-resistant king. But these weren't just real lions, they're just big pantherine cats mistakenly called lions. But real lions also existed in Europe. Enter the Asiatic lion. Smaller, sleeker, more heat tolerant, and rocking a fabulous undermane mullet. This version of the lion didn't just pass through Europe, it moved in. They prowled Greece, rode in the Balkans, and get this, made it as far north as Ukraine and the Hungarian plains. Lions in Hungary? Wrap your head around that. And no, this isn't ancient Photoshop, we have real evidence. Bones, fossils, Greek pottery with lions eating dude, always classy, and ancient texts from Herodotus and Aristotle casually name-dropping lions like they're just another local nuisance. They'll be like, oh, mind the lions on the way to Macedonia. Cool, thanks Aristotle. But here's the kicker. Most people think lions are African animals. That's the viral myth. We've disney them into an exclusive club. Lions equals savannah. But no. They're more cosmopolitan than your favorite travel blogger. They lived in India, Europe, the Middle East, the Caucasus, and even Southern Russia. They're not just African kings, they are continental veterans. And now, in modern Europe, we've got deer overdosing on forest real estate, wild boar over multiplying, some even throwing parties in city parks, and wolves nervously applying for the apex predator status, but to be honest, Truly and realistically, they are not cats, but something's missing. That mmm, that keystone carnivore energy. Lions will bring drama, balance, and just enough fear to keep the ecosystem humble. So, question time. What if Europe didn't just lose its lions? What if Europe just forget them? And if Europe remembered, if it truly grasped that lions belong in Europe as much as the Alps or Olives or over budget infrastructure projects, would we bring them back? Because Europe was the catwalk for megafauna and lions were the main event. But speaking of main event, let's talk about Gujarat, India, home to the last wild Asiatic lions on earth. Once upon a time, these lions were down to double digits like your group chat has more members level of extinction risk. But thanks to a century of protection, cultural respect, and a whole lot of royal stubbornness, shout out to Nawab of Junnagath, the OG conservationist before it was cool. Their numbers have exploded, from under 20 to over 700. 
Sounds great, right? Plot twist, they all live in one state. That's like fitting every Marvel superhero into one elevator. What could go wrong? Now they're out of room. These lions are spilling out of protected zones, popping up in sugarcane fields, crossing highways, and casually photobobbing Indian villagers like they are filming Planet Earth, Suburban Edition. And while the lions are thriving, space is not. India's packed. You are talking 1.4 billion people and one apex predator slot already filled by a 300 kilo striped murder machine called the Bengal tiger. Who is bigger, moodier, and not great at sharing? The tigers are out here gatekeeping the apex predator club, while the lions are stuck in Gujarat doing the ecological equivalence of couch surfing. They've tried expanding, but every time the idea of relocating them to other Indian forests came up, it turns into a Game of Thrones episode. State politics, interdepartmental beef, and people yelling about tough. But the worst part is already happening. These lions have started hunting cattle instead of wild prey. You don't just get angry farmers, you get apex predators going soft, like Batman ditching crime fighting to start robbing vending machines. Cows are slow, defenseless, and taste like convenience, which means lions stop doing what lions evolved to do, regulate wild herbivores and keep ecosystem balanced. The more they raid villages for beef on legs, the less they roam, the lazier they get, and the more they pass those habits to their cubs, like generational fast food addiction, but with claws. Here's the myth. People think that this is just lions adapting. Hell no, it's lions glitching. If this keeps up, you are not looking at apex predator anymore, you are looking at oversized early cats with a taste of free range steak and zero fear of humans. And once lions lose that fear, you don't get coexistence, you get the lion edition of Planet of the Apes. So where do we send these majestic, mildly homeless big cats? Europe. No, seriously. Europe. Here's the unexpected part. Ecologically, it makes sense. Europe has the space due to Euro's fertility crisis and rural to urban migration, which leads to abundant rural lands popping up faster than new Netflix shows. Larger herbivores like red deer, boar, wild horses and bisons are already making a comeback. And wolves? Wolves are cool but they are basically mid-tier predators. Bears? Well, bears are like the unreliable weird uncle of predators. Super strong, terrifying when provoked, but mostly just wants to eat snacks and be left alone. But lions? Lions are drama. They restore balance with flair. You bring back lions, you get a functioning ecosystem and a continent-wide mic drop. But wait, isn't rewilding dangerous when the lions eat the people? Here's the viral myth. People think lions are bloodthirsty monsters lurking behind every bush. Reality check, Asiatic lions are actually quite chill. They're social, predictable, and way more cautious around humans than Hollywood will have you believe. In India, they already live alongside people. In some areas, better than the local politicians, they navigate highways, farms, and temples like veteran commuters. So, instead of debating where to cram another 50 lions in Gujarat, maybe it's time to ask, what if we brought them home, not just to any forest, but to their ancestral turf, from Persia to the Danube Delta, that was once prime lion real estate, Picture it, the Asiatic lion, not as an invasive species, but as returning king. And here's the weirdest question of all. If lions evolve here, if they balance the ecosystem for millennia, and if we now have the science, the resources, the land, and importantly, the need, why haven't we done it yet? So here we are. A continent with rising deer and boa populations, abundant farmlands and a biodiversity hangover from the last ice age. And a lion species that basically couch surfing in western India, waiting for an emergency call because the deer population in Europe are getting real cocky. Europe got the land, the need, even the historical receipts. So now the big question is, should Asiatic lands be reintroduced to their historic homeland, like actual buck? Not as zoo exhibits, but as apex predators, ecosystem engineers, and fairy drama queens with real estate demands. 
Or is the idea of wild lions from Iran to Hungary just too crazy, too bold, too correct? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if your brain is now buzzing with big cut energy, don't worry, you are not done yet. I went deep into the Asiatic lion and also the Persian leopard, aka the first European big cut. And as always, stay curious, stay wild, and thank you very much for watching.